Uh, right now, if you look, for instance, at livestock, about 83 percent of the beef that is produced is controlled by four companies. If you're looking at pork, the top four companies control um, 63 percent. And if you look at grocery stores here in the United States, four companies control 50 percent of the food that's bought and sold, with Walmart being the largest. So there's a lot of control from genetics all the way to the grocery store. And that means that farmers don't get a fair price, consumers don't get good food, or pay fair prices for healthy food. And there's a lot of speculation that goes on on Wall Street at the Chicago Board of Trade that affects the food that people overseas get and results in, in famines. And the Farm Bill, which is the piece of federal legislation that controls um, our food here in the United States is a very large piece of legislation that comes every five years and it's resulted in uh, a lot of poor policies that benefit big agribusiness companies like Cargill, ConAgra, and it also benefits the junk food producers uh, like Kraft, Nestle, any of the big companies that need to use sugar, oil, or the other commodities.